This is the update procedure for the DR1X Yesu Fusion DR1X repeater. We will be taking it from 1.10 D Delta to uh, 1.10 J Juliet uh, for firmware updating via the Yesu procedure. So, uh, step one is we need to connect our serial cable to the computer and know which COM port it is in. So we will open Device Manager and we're going to watch Ports COM and LPT for this connection. And that tells me that we have to go the longer way around. So, <clears throat> luckily we have that driver. So we will run the driver installer. Insert the cable. And we see that the cable has been assigned to COM3. The next step in the Yesu procedure is to attach the cable to the back of the DR1X using the accessory jack. And within the unit itself, after removing 15 screws in the cover, we need to reach down into the receive side and change the mode switch to the rear of the radio, which allows us to update the firmware. You need a bit of a tool to reach down into there. It's too small an opening to get a finger into. At this point we can turn the repeater on and if we did this correctly nothing should appear on the screen and it does not. Next we open the firmware update tool and we run this We set our COM port to COM3. Although there's an opening for baud rate, there is no adjustment available. Let's just confirm that we're on COM3. We are deed in COM3. And we click the update button. We have the program switch set to the boot side. We have the DR1X connected. Power switch is on. And we are pressing the OK key. And, according to the program, we are updating. It's always a good sign when the progress bar goes across. Okay, we have achieved the firmware update. We've received the complete notification. We'll click OK here. Uh, we can exit from this software. The next thing we're going to do is uh, turn off the repeater power switch, disconnect the cable, and then return the switch back to its normal operating position which is to the front of the repeater forward. I think that's there. I should have brought a flashlight. All right, it's there. 
Yeah, I can't fit my finger in. All right, and now when we turn the repeater back on, it should come back up in normal operating mode, which it did. <coughs> From here on the front screen, we hit the setup button, and we confirm that the setup firmware version is now 1.10J, Juliet. So the firmware update was successful.